Uh, is it cool if we do a little, a little thing in here? What's up guys, your boy Chris of 1980-something co, and we're at the booth for Earthling VIP, so let's say, what's your name? Earth. I know your name, but let's say your name for the peoples, <laughs> and Instagram. Yeah, yeah, earthling.vip, you can catch us on there, hit us up if you want to come by our show, showroom anytime, this is all our pieces from there. So you guys have a crazy, crazy stand, the only one like with the walls and stuff like that, that you guys hang stuff up on. I wouldn't even know where to start, but like for someone walking into your booth, like is there a, a way that you would suggest for them to start off at, or is there sections? We put sections and categories, but I always tell people to dive in, start from like the beginning to the end, and just kind of dive through each piece. Because each rack, you'll kind of see the category, and then you'll find what you're looking for. In what's <laughs> What's your favorite piece in here? Oh, you always do that. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. Honestly, everything's super fire. I really love the De La. I love all the RTs we got up. Some of the rap tees are really crazy, too. Dope, dope. You can't pick one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to ask that guy over there. He's looking over there. I'm going to see what, he, what his favorite is so far. Uh, but, yeah, this is great. Thank you, bro. Appreciate super it. excited. You're killing it, too. I'm hyped, bro. I'm waiting for everyone to come in. It's dope, dope. Yo, brother. Are you down to uh, down to be on the show for a sec? Sure. What's up? What's up? All right, what's your favorite piece in the stand so far? In this stand? Probably that tribe. Things pretty crazy. I kind of have my eye on that. And there's this parliament right here. That one's real dope. Real dope. But the tribe is probably the one to me. I don't know, man. A lot of good stuff though. These guys have always have the heaters. Hell yeah. No, I think we're good. So we're right here in the heat broker stand right now, and I heard that you stepped outside real quick and you got like a standing ovation. Well, I mean, it was it was kind of like that. <laughs> Dog, it was pretty cool. It was cool, but I'm not used to that type of stuff. A lot of like, some love showing outside. People yelling my name is crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So what do you think they're? Um, so they're like they they know you're here. They're excited to see you. What do you think they're here to? See? What what do you think they want to come get? Uh, the, my, the Nightmare on uh, Before Christmas, that's a good one people have been asking me about. And the Rock was Martin Life all over print. Shh, Ooh, that's the one you're doing a raffle on, right? Actually, no. The one I'm doing a raffle on is a Nickelodeon. Uh, it has all the characters on it. Pop it out the bag. That one's going to go, I think. So, yeah. For sure. Well, it's super exciting. First thrift con here in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm hyped. I'm right next to you. This is the boy right here. Go check out our Stash Raiders episode. Hyped. Yeah, we out here. <laughs> saw a little bit of a void in, in the Denver scene. Um, you know, there wasn't these awesome dope flea markets that were especially not happening every weekend, but really every, like, happening ever. Kind of like, you know, LA has Melrose and Rose Bowl. There just wasn't like a, a, bit, a market that had like a, that was catering to kind of our scene and this, this side of the vintage world. And so, you know, we knew a bunch of people, we had our shop station. It was really David, you know, David Meets World, our, my, my, one of my partners. It was his idea initially, and then we just, we ran, 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 All right, so we're here back at uh, ThriftCon LA, first time ever in LA, and I'm here with... Sean, Sean Weatherspoon. Adam, Adam Feynman. So you guys snuck in through the back door, got in super early, got tons of heat, the bag is fat. I'm doing like a stash raiders where we like see what you guys got in the bag. Raiding but just the current stash. Yes. I like that. Cool. We'll be here all day if we go through this bag though. Yeah. So show us what's uh, your favorite piece so far. Damn, favorite piece? Fuck. Well, I just got this from you. I'm very excited about it. That's going to be going on my my, uh, my body. You know, I'm going to be wearing that. Um, man, favorite? I just got this Janet that's actually really sick. I think we all like a good Janet shirt. And I love this photo. This is like one of the, it's the it's iconic. super iconic photo, yeah. I'm hyped on the Chucky. You know what? I think this is going to have to be... Just because I'm going to wear this myself and it was 20 bucks. Just like X Games. And I want to say this is like X Games 1. Yeah. You know, like this looks like... And I love this saying on the back. It just says future freestyle. Like this is so first X Games to me. Honestly. Super sick. What about you, Adam? I'd have to say... Uh, Mario. Oh, sick. From all? Yeah, from all. Nice. That one's dope. Nicely worn in, too. Good size. Best tag right here. It's my favorite tag ever. It's the best tag. Fruit of the Loom is mine, too. All right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, pulling up and showing us the stash. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. For a prize. Oh. Name, name one uh, 
Okay, here, I got this one. Here we go. Uh, what does NFS stand for? Not for sale, right? You win. I got your prize right now. All right, name one of the owners of round two. Sean Witherspoon. You guys are on point. Here you go. Stash Raiders bags all around. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Damn, you guys. You guys should be on Jeopardy, I swear. Winner, winner, chicken dinners, man. <laughs> Thanks for being on, guys. All right, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. This is where. Dude, that's a straight vault right there. I thought that was like a bench or something. No. If we want to do a Stash Raiders right here at ThriftCon, this is it. Because, um,. There's just such amazing shit right here. This one. This is it. This one right here. The blemish in the front is what makes it like a one of one to both of us. It's what he told me at first. I told him it's more of like a shit stain and it's ugly, but um, that's really insane and just, I like it. I love it. So it's like super misprinted. The yellowing right here, that's only supposed to be on the, that's only supposed to be on the background of the, of the red and right here. So whoever printed this one just yeah, there's one that's, they just, just went crazy with that. Sort of mistakes there, you know. This is yeah. not how it was supposed to be, because the guy that traded it to him only traded it to him because he had doubles. He's yeah, just like he us. So like uh, he still got his other one. He's wearing it nice and cozy, and he gave off this one because he was just like us in the beginning, or at least like me. Like it's got a yellow stain. I don't want it, but to me that's just so much cooler than the one he probably has. You're a Marvel tee collector, and one of my favorite parts about you is that you know so much about the comics and the t-shirt, the story behind it. So can you show us one tee that you got a story for you want to share with us? Sure. So, I mean, like you said, I know a lot of the stories behind a lot of these characters, but this one, Death's Head 2, he's actually a character that when I started collecting, I had no clue about. And um, I actually, this one's one of my favorite tees, never for sale, just because... Before I was doing Marvel, I was like just flipping stuff, like just trying to make money out of it before I started buying stuff I love. And um, one of my first pop-ups, like not selling Marvel, but selling anything, this guy came up with a box of comic books. And, um, and he was like, yo, I was doing like really bad. I was trying to sell like just flipping stuff. And you know, like I, I wasn't doing good then. And, um, and then this guy was like, yo, I'll trade you like this shirt that I got for like 50 cents for, um, I picked out like three comic books from his booth and that was one of them. And then I just, uh, I just thought that the drawing of that cover was so good. So um, this is actually the T right here. Um, I got the comic cover back when I first started like selling and then pro that was probably like two, three years ago. And then, um, and then just like six months ago, I found the T. And then I was like, wow, like I didn't even know there was a t-shirt out here. And then this one like really hooked me. I was like, I need to go track down all the other Marvel tees. And then that's when um, I started finding all these pages that were just already doing it. And they're ext like extremely good at what they're doing. And then that even motivated me more just because like you see like the value start to creep up and you're like, I got to jump in it now. Um, and you know, especially something that you love. So this one, I had no clue what the story is behind this, but this guy, this robot is Death Head 1. Then they did an upgraded version of Death's Head, Death's Head 2, and this is the death of Death's Head. So when Death's Head 2 comes and takes over, and uh, just a crazy character um, and a crazy, crazy shirt. That's dope that uh, this is kind of the shirt that started it all for you, like your intrigue with the whole Marvel Universe and the t-shirt artwork. I haven't even had a chance to walk around, but when I do, I just, it's, it's Disneyland. I'm in Disneyland. Happiest place on earth. This is a jam-packed space right here. Uh, we've already talked to a couple Marvel collectors. I'm a, I don't know where Josh went, but now we're here with Nate. Tate, what's good, dog? How you doing? Energy. I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I'm excited, actually, yeah. Let's tell the people what you got on right here. Yo, shout out to uh, Vintage Von Doom, Malcolm Yalamore. That's the homie. So, like, he, he hooked it up with, like, one of my favorite tees, like, ever in existence. So, um, I can't thank him enough. I, I traded him, and um, it's a it's really hard to get anything out of that guy's collection because it's like it's a vault, you know. So um, yeah, he's not really a seller. He's more of a collector. Yeah, he's not interested in money. Like you have to have something he he wants, like another shirt. So I had a couple things he wanted, and he traded me for this. Well, you pulled off the trade of a century. <laughs> well, you pulled uh, you pulled off the trade of a century just because like this one right here is infamous for. Uh, the attention that it got when it sold. So you got Silver Surfer on the front, the Herald of Galactus, and on the back side, you got a full Galactus print. Well, it, the crazy part about the whole price, what it sold for, is I got it off the guy who bought, who's who's making the, the whole market go crazy right now, you know? Like, so he's got three of these. So, like, I got, I only, I got one from his collection because, like, he's, 
if it's something this crazy, yeah, he doesn't mind like paying up the price for it, you know. So, um, and there's a few other people who who will too now. Apparently, um, I posted on my story and I got a crazy offer already, and I have to keep it, man. <laughs> All right, for sure, bro. Well, thanks for chopping it up with us. Good luck today. Uh, yeah, see you in a bit. It, it was it was unmasked as far as like any of the Denver events go. Like they're like Denver doesn't even hold a flame to the, the, the caliber of stuff that was at the LA event. Um, we really just want like wanted to make sure that there was cool people and cool stuff there and, and I think there definitely was. And so we were, we couldn't have been happier, man. On all right guys, what's up? Welcome back. We're, it's super crazy right now at ThriftCon, the DJ's bumping, we got people just like all up in the stands and stuff. Um, right here, I'm right now with the homie right here, what's your name brother? Uh, Nelson. And your Instagram? Uh, Thrift Steals LA. And so what I'm doing is I'm rating stashes right now, I'm rating bags. So you got two bags already, you're one of the early birds, you got in early, let me see what you got in with that early bird pass. What's the best piece in here? Best piece, this historical Nike right here. Nike color block from the 70s. Got a history behind it though. This actually belonged to one of the Nike runners. You know, it got sold to the homie and he, I picked it up. Been waiting for this for a long time. Finally excited to get it. So that seller let it out the vault for the first time here? Yeah, first time. Brought it out. Didn't even know till this morning. <laughs> is that for resale or is that for the personal? Uh, it's a personal. It's going to my, I just got a, like a Nike display case going in there. Let, let's see that Freddy Krueger that I saw peeking out too. That looked pretty dope. That looked like it was in great condition. Got a Freddy right here. Sick ass Freddy all over print. Nice big face Freddy. And then I got I got a favorite piece in here that I saw. It's that Picasso. And you got like a Picasso collection, right? Yeah, yeah. I collect a bunch of RTs. My girl got a, another Picasso right here. She got a, a, a Edgar Degas that I got from you under. <laughs> You know, another little Picasso, bunch of crew neck shirts, art books, whatever. I'm trying to collect as much as I can. It's <laughs> always dope. That's dope. This one's super clean. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, thanks for showing us your stash, bro. Good luck today. Uh, I'm here with the OG right here. Say the name for the people. Uh, Chloe. Say, uh, God for Cheap. Got it for cheap on Instagram. He's in the building right now, all the way from Canada, Vancouver, baby. That's right. Represent, represent. So you just got in the building right now. I caught you off guard, but show me like what you got so far. Is this like you already copped this in here? Oh uh, yeah, I just got it right now, like the last hour or so. It's nothing crazy, but it's cool. Okay, cool. So let's see what you got right here. Kind of, you know, go live up to my name. So. <laughs> all right. So what do we got? We got the Toy Story right here. This one's dope. It's on the jerseys tag. Yep. Uh, got you know some characters on the front. This is a fire one, right? Here, right here. Yes, sir. This one they gave out at the premiere of it. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, they, no I went to it when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. So yeah, and they they gave this tea out right there. And next door they had like this little event with like different things for the kids, like uh, little like uh, like sets and stuff like that. It was pretty yeah. fun. That's dope, man. I, I would have never known. Yeah, I'm old, so I got shit like that in my memory <laughs> banks. All right, so what, what other one we got right here? Because I see another one laying behind it that's sick. Oh, we got get the Final Fantasy. I've seen a lot of it, but it was cool. The homie hooked it up. How about I've, it this? Yeah, I've, that one, this one I've seen, you know, I've seen it around too. I've had it, but still, every time you get it, it's fire. You know what I mean? 50 bucks. I couldn't leave it, bro. What's crazy is I heard that that one was only given out when you were, like, one of the first purchasers of the game. Like, it wasn't for sale. Oh yeah? yeah, I had no idea either, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, old old Damn. people facts. Yeah. Old people facts. I'm getting schooled right now, bro. <laughs> Yo, I gotta show you something though. Okay, let's run it. Kuji for thirty bucks. That's it. <laughs> I, I just wanted to show you. Guess who I'm here with? My boy right here, Sneaker Mo Easy in the building. Yo, how you feeling, bro? Great, man. Great. So you just came out here solo. Like, what, what made you do that jump? Just come out here spontaneously. Come out here to network, man. Um, I think it's a great event. Um, it's something that's definitely going to grow, but mostly the network. Like, it's cool, like, talking to people through, like, Instagram and shit like that, but I think it's better when you, like, meet them in person and yeah. shit like that. For We've done, like, a podcast. Like, uh, I have Vintage Awards. You won. Uh, Thrifter of the Year, Vintage Awards 20, uh, 2018. Yes. 
first time meeting actually. So yes, I'm glad you is. came out. Yes, 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 it is, man. So I'm doing like a special like Stash Raiders episode today and uh, we're raiding bags. So you got a big bag right there. Can we can we see what's in there? Show us your best one, your favorite. Best one, yeah. So everybody knows I'm from North Carolina, right? So this is a Tar Heels Nike baseball jersey. Never seen it in my life. Never seen it in my life. So it's pretty fun. That's what I was about to say favorite. too. That uh, you know, I've seen like the series of these jerseys. Yes. It's like the one that go with like the Jordan eights and right. like it's like right. Jordan. Right. They go with yeah, the Jordan like ones. This, like that. Yeah. Cause you normally see stuff like these, but you barely ever see the Nike ones. And when you do, it's like it says Nike on it. Yeah. So. That's and it's still Jordan centered because it's Tar Heels. Right, that's a, you know right, that's right, college right, days. Right, right. Dope, dope. And then uh, one thing that when I saw you earlier, you said you were on the hunt for the Jordan ones. Did you get your hands 94s on those? Ninety fours and eighty fives. I was on the hunt for ninety fours and eighty fives. It's funny. I came up on an eight and a half, ninety four. That stock. The condition Lots on those is crazy. Has the card in it. Damn, all original. Crazy. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad you found what you're looking for. I'm happy to finally meet you, dog. Yes. Right? yes. <laughs> you, uh, still going to be looking around? For sure. I'm here all day, so sure. yeah. We chilling? Yes, yes. Sure. All right, bro. For sure. Yeah. All right, my name is Guillermo. Um, my my thrift page IG is pink, pink dot polo shirt. You know how to give the little Kanye, Kanye vibes out there. So my man was on with me on a podcast episode where I was taking calls, uh, came through with some really good questions. We actually, it's our first time meeting. Well, we met. Uh, a couple days ago when you just got into town, yep. copped a couple things, but now we're here at Stash Raiders. What do you think about the vibe in this place? I, I fuck with it. Honestly, it's like, it's real interesting the kind of people that are into the shit like this, honestly. You were showing us these right here. So these are like the, the, the wrapped up shirts. So there's a t-shirt in there. I guess like they put it under five tons of pressure, you were saying, right? And yeah, they put- 50 tons of pressure. Oh, 50 tons. fucking t-shirt. Yeah. So look, we got video games. My man, like I said, found a camera. All right, so what's the favorite find out of here? Probably Smash Bros. I've been looking for this game for a while, bro. Like, I still I still play the GameCube every now and then. The fact that I got one of the best games they ever made is crazy. Future plans. 2020, we're trying to hit as many cities as possible starting in March. We have 10 cities planned, so basically um, you know, I don't want to give two away, but we ha or too much away, but we have one city a month on our schedule right now. And pending that we can make all of those happen, find spaces and everything, we would do all of them, but that might not be the case. So we're just going to do as many as we can next year. This is a very special episode of Stash Raiders. People coming into my booth, I'm gonna see what they got in the bag. So right. you got a you got a nice little healthy bag right there. What, right. What's your favorite find in there? Show us a couple things. My favorite is probably this Kanye tee. I just got from Future Pass NYC. Pretty rare bootleg from I think the graduation era around uh, 07, 08. Um, it's hard to find these in XL, so I was excited to find that. Pretty That's dope. dope. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. If you guys, if he looks familiar, he, we did a Stash Raiders episode with him. Oh, yeah. uh, this is Black Shirts World. He's in the building. And uh, we didn't really touch your Kanye West collection in the episode. No, so that's yeah. that's adding to that, right? Yeah, it's one of the few I feel like I don't have that I've seen so far. So I'm excited to find that. Um, I've also got, I got this Final Fantasy X t-shirt. It's pretty dope. Got this from INS Vintage, uh, Israel. Hooked it up with a good price. Excited about that. And then I got... That Final Fantasy is crazy, actually. Yeah, and then this is uh, from Sal. Sal Prime Vintage. Hooked it up. Always got great prices. Been looking for three peach shirts from 2002. It's my favorite. Kind of rap tee style. That's it. That's all I got. That's yeah. dope. Uh, will you... Uh, question. Would you let the Stash Raiders fam come back and uh, take a look at the Kanye and... Uh, Cause you had Kanye, uh, Smashing Pumpkins bootleg collection. You had like Marilyn Manson. Will, will you open the door for us, uh, Dash Raiders again? I know it's a grueling sure. process, but no, I'm down. I feel like I already. Have, I'm the only guy with two episodes though, so I'm, I'm gonna have three now. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, we're not really keeping track of it. Stash Raiders is all about having fun. Two, three. As as long as you got the collection, I want to compete. Yeah. With. I'm down, man. Very cool. For sure, brother. All right. Good luck. All right, so we here at ThriftCon. Uh, 
more stash rating going on. And right now I'm with my boy Leo. Leo, how you doing? What's up, fam? How you feeling, man? Bro, you're all the way out here. Okay, so versus, right? That's uh, ATL. Yeah, so that you, yes, you guys sir. won Vintage Awards Best Store, oh, the wow. people's choice. That's an honor. That's an honor, man. We appreciate y'all out there, man. The honor's all on this side. I'm, I'm like glad to finally meet you. Man, appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. So you came out here for ThriftCon. Uh, you got a bag right here. This is stash rated with rating stashes. So uh, what is this? Is this stuff that you bought or you brought? Um, it's some stuff that I'm, this is like an empty bag. I got a couple pieces in here. Let me see if someone wants to probably snipe or see where we at with it. You know? Okay, let's see what the options are. Uh, let's see what I got in here. Leo got to have a Leo. Leo got to have a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we got over here? Since we're in Cali, you got to have have a little movie tee out here. Yeah, that's little dope. Tea. Nice the little title shot. That's dope. Excellent condition on that one, too. A little rap tee. A little Fuji's action. Something slight. Straight. That's a straight banger right there. Oh, Y'all ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What up? What up? What up, y'all? Dude, which this is good. I see a lot of Aaliyahs, but they're usually like official type joints. You know what I mean? But this is like a straight, straight rap tee right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OG. So what are you looking for to trade that with if there, if you could think of it? Um, I'm just looking. Looking and talking. I'm sitting with everybody out here with. You know what I mean? See what else I got in here. I'm the same way. I like, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know what I want until I see it. All right, one more. Let's, let's see one more. <laughs> let's just go with this. A little mosquito head. Even dude over here off camera is just like shocked. <laughs> All right, ThriftCon LA, and I'm here on my boy uh, Skyler right here. Say what's up, dog. What's up, everybody? And you're wearing a sick Powerpuff girl shirt. Damn, who, where'd you get that from? You know I got it from you, dog. <laughs> you got fire. You know you have fire. So you've been walking around. Uh, this is Stash Raider, so we want to see what you got in the bag. Like, what's your favorite piece from what you got in there? Let's see it. Come on. Boom, there we go. Yeah, that's fire, dude. Just the title screen. Yeah, nice yeah. fade. You weren't you weren't lying about that. Has like a nice little stain on the back. This is a shirt. I, I feel like this shirt has like sentimental sentimental value to me because I love this movie. And uh, one of the lead actors is actually my neighbor for a little bit, so that's how I got into the movie. Yeah, it's it's a classic. All right, but now before we let you go, I gotta ask you a trivia question, right? Uh -huh. So I'm gonna ask you a little uh, trivia question. Um, okay, I got it. Who directed A Clockwork Orange? Spike Lee. <laughs> that was wrong, bro. Oh, shit. That was, that was so incredibly oh, wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm talking, I'm thinking about, uh, oh, shit. Shit, shit. Should we, shit. Should we give him another chance? Shit, I'm, I'm going to go to the judges with this you one. Fuck me up on that one. Oh, man. Uh, A Clockwork Orange. Uh, Clockwork Orange. Uh, what's that fucking movie? <clears throat> Oh shit, you called me. I've been drinking, y'all. Oh, damn. All right. Hold <laughs> oh, no, on, that's, that's bad. That's bad. That's oh, hold bad. on, I got a little itch that's, right here. That's bad. Hold on, I got a little itch right here. All right, so you don't you don't know? So so my thing, I'm not really a movie person. I'm not really a movie person. Uh, eh, time's up. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie A Clockwork Orange, uh -huh. who directed it? Stanley Kubrick, come on. Ooh, damn, I didn't even have to give you the hint. I was going to be like... Uh, you know what I mean? Who, who directed? <laughs> no. Alright, we got a Stash Raiders bag for you right over there. So thanks for being on, bro. Uh, because you came all the way out here from? ATL. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a prize anyway, alright? Second place prize. What do we have for him over here? Stash Raiders bag. So I saw this. I saw this bag right here. I don't know how you fit all those tees in this little bag, but... We got you some more, uh, some more bag orange. space over here. You know what I'm thinking about? Oh, oh man, appreciate it, man. It's lovely, bro. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. No sweat, man. Thanks for coming out to ThriftCon. Uh, <laughs> oh, and, and, uh, and next time uh, somebody asks you a trivia question, look at the host T-shirt, and maybe that might give you the answer to the oh my to the question. Stanley. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yo, I'm nervous, y'all. He makes me so nervous, man, when I come out here. I don't know why. <laughs> Thanks for being on, dog. Much love. Nice to finally meet you, bro. Yes, sir. The finds continue, and right now I'm with my boy Joey. Uh, Joey, give him your Instagram. My Instagram is joey.uplift. That's um, joey.uplift. And my other one, my my, you can find my stuff for sale at the Thrift Plug, and that's the.thrift.plug. 
Did you just get here or you've been here for a minute? Uh, I've been here for a minute. I got here at the early birds like around like nine and then like general admission is at like 10. So I, it got a little crazy right now. There's like a lot of people. It's cool to see, man. Like this is the first uh, ThriftCon over here. Um, ThriftCon LA 2019, man. I think we're going to continue to do this. I mean, I, everyone's like showing love. You got some of your favorite like um, thrifters on IG and your favorite pages and your favorite YouTubers out here. And um, everyone's just having a good time. And look at it. I mean, look around, just pan left to right. You can see it's it's popping a lot. Of yeah, yeah, here. it's super crazy. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's take a look at what you got. Okay. Well, you already got some out the bag already. So yeah, I didn't even yeah, have yeah, to yeah. to rate it. Yeah, I, I didn't cop too much today. I'm gonna show you what I have though. Um, but it, right out the right out the gate, this is like this is this is the one that started it all. This is the 1985 Air Jordan Ones by Nike. This is Michael Jordan's rookie shoe right here from 1985. Talk That's crazy, dude. Look, the condition on this one is insane. Usually, you'll see them like with the paint coming off. Yeah, this one's yeah. got like a little bit, but I mean, this is like, yeah. what do you, what can you expect from a, shirt, no, a shoe yeah. that's this old? You know. This is the other pair right here. Came with the box, OG laces, the insole still there. Dang, man. To be honest, if you're talking about what what started me in like, um, in, in like, you know, thrifting and fashion and clothes or even just this culture, it's this one right here. This is what got me hyped on everything and. Uh, from this started all for me, and then it, it went into like vintage Nike clothes, and then it got, then I kind of like you know you go on a tangent, like you learn about other other clothes and other things and other designers, and then um, that's how it is. But this is how it is. This is one. Is, this is the one that started for me. That's crazy. So ThriftCon LA, more than tees. We got crazy kicks here. Oh, I got this uh, Tupac tee right here. Um, that's a crazy bootleg. So yeah, it's got the memorial on the back, yeah. and then it's like a Tommy Hill figure. Uh, rip on the front, yeah. things crazy. Really cool. Um, and then a few other tees too. Let me see. Okay, now I got a yeah. trivia question good, for you, and sure. this is for a prize, right? Ooh, so, for a um, prize? yeah, for a what? prize. So, name uh, one of the owners of round two. Sean Weatherspoon. Woo! Winner, winner. <laughs> and you win a Stash Raiders bag. My man. Stash Raiders, baby. There it is. So you can keep putting some more teas in there, brother. Yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this to shop around right now. All right, I'm here with my boy Drew right here, uh, owner of Shop Dandyland. Uh, he's coming to L.A. now. What's up, Drew? How you doing? What's up, man? How's it going, man? Uh, I am coming to L.A., so if you're a local, I guess hopefully we can meet each other at some point. And, uh, so, yo, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, Yeah, no sweat. So you just got here. Um, you got a bag full already, so this is not yeah. stuff you got here. This is the, the trade bait. I brought a couple gifts. I brought a couple trades. Like, this to me, this is, like, a thing for the community. Yeah, we could all shop or, like, have a booth, but it's dope to meet everybody and yeah. see all the faces. So I got a couple gifts, yeah. So this is a special episode of Stash Raiders. I'm, yeah. rating, I'm rating bags out here, so oh, okay. can, can we see oh. some in there that you brought for trade let's this check it out actually perfect. sure yeah. <laughs> let's do it so these are all gonna be like gifts and stuff like i'm just gonna give them out to the homies a lot of stuff for my personal nice uh fashion victim uh bearded day bong tomorrow dude this is Speaks fire yeah, yeah. <laughs> super fire one of these you know what these are obviously oh this is my speciality right yeah, here bro <laughs> i love it i like this tag the best i know you've seen the little eco tag or whatever yeah that's great i love this one that they were, were here first just like the animals on this one yeah. the artwork is so dope so this one is a DJ Shadow uh, and a Futura artwork. So it's a 1998 uh, album. It was DJ Shadow and another artist, kind of like uh, trippy new wave, like UK indie music sort of. It's pretty dope, man. The music. I actually looked up the music based on the shirt, and I liked it. You know what I mean? That's uh, dope. Super yeah. rare. Thanks. Yeah, it's pretty dope. So just one of these. This is like my favorite type of joint. Earth, animals, unity. You know what I mean? Just positive messages and stuff. Like I mess with that vibe. You know what I mean? So yeah. So you and I have been uh, we've been doing business for a cool minute. Yeah. yeah you always definitely. pick up like the positive vibe, like earth, yeah. nature stuff. I, I just got a, a deep appreciation for it, and it's nice to like put them together and like curate them together so people could like see them all at once in the shop. Because I'm trying to run a shop, you know. So I love putting things together. Like it's cool to shop like that. You know what I mean? For the for the person walking in. You know what I mean? For sure, dope. It's one thing to see one of them, but it's another thing to see like 10 of them. You're like, got a deeper appreciation right off the bat, you know, when you see them all together. So, anyway. Yeah. Most deaf, most deaf. All right, let's check this, out one this more. One is not for sales. It's okay. Just, this, this is, is just, one, yeah. this one's just for good luck this or what? Is, yeah, so, yeah, for good luck, man. Just to show off, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad I, I linked up with you, man. Right, so this uh, is a real stash, stash yeah, piece. Yeah, okay. Like, I would never sell this to anybody. And if you ever have one, I mean, A, keep it. B, if you don't, just hit me up because like, I, I would outbid on this one. I love these. So I collect cross colors. Here it is. 
my, my favorite ever cross color tee. The two owners, first ever African American fashion uh, industry owners. They broke doors, got into J.C. Penney's, Macy's, all the all the big name stores. They broke open doors, and they put their name on their tags and their faces on the, uh, on all the tags that may not names. But yeah, Carl Jones, C.J. Walker, Carl's dog. Wow, yeah. even throw his dog on there. That's crazy. I've never seen this one. Yeah, man. It's it's honestly an all-time grail. Like, I forgot who um, gave me the heads up on it on Instagram, but thanks to them. I mean, I can't say enough. Like, I, I love this shirt. It just means a lot to me because as a collector, they don't have that many T-shirts. This is by far the dopest one. That's fire, yeah, bro. Man. Thanks for sharing that. Course, All right, bro. so I know you also need a bag. You needed an extra bag for the event, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little trivia question. Yeah. And uh, okay. there's a there's there might be a prize in there, all right? Okay, it might okay. be a bag. I'm not okay. sure. <laughs> all right, so question: What does DSWT stand for? Dead stock without tags or with tags? Uh, okay, well I, I don't know. Either way, either way. I don't know why I said without. All right, without. Right, right. <laughs> All right, so you are now the winner of a brand new. I just got these done last night too. Hey, those are fire, Stash yeah. Raiders bag. Hey, um, hey, the big, the big yeah, I, I, I updated the specs on them. I wanted the bag to be bigger so you could fit more stuff in yeah. there, and the straps a little bigger so you could throw it on your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? This is perfect right now. I don't got nothing to put my stuff in when I cop, so thank you, dog. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping, uh, chop it up with us. I'm gonna let you go. Good hey, luck. Find some grills hey, out there, brother. All right, so we're here again with the homie that we met over at Earthlings booth in the morning. He was one of the early birds, but now it's, you know, some hours have passed. He's walked around and the bag's looking thick. So uh, show, us a, show us a few things. All right, so yeah, we got the uh, Sade, the white Sade. Usually you only see this one in black or brown. It's got the nice color hits on the back. Dude, with like the Rasta colors uh, on the embroidery crazy. on the back, because on the black version, it's just white, right? Yep. I think so. I think it's just white on the on the black version for sure. I've never seen the color hit like that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a good one, real nice. One. I got this from the Vault and this too. The homie, the Vault Manchester. He's got the crazy shit. Dude, wait! I went and bought a hat from the Vault and I didn't see those. I slept. I got there early. Oh, I got there I early. I got Dude, there I saw early. you there in the morning. I was like, "What's he getting? What's he getting?" Yeah, I got I got there right right at nine. I grabbed the good stuff for sure. But you know. He has, he still has good stuff over there right now. And so here at ThriftCon, they have a little trading floor over there where like people could bring stuff. Like you don't have to have a stand here. You could just like all meet up over there and it's just like a trading orgy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for uh, Sorry for lack of a better word. But um, were you able to hit the trading floor? I did, I got I got one thing off the trading floor. It wasn't a trade, I had, you know, I didn't have anything he wanted to trade for. So I had to, had to pony up on it, but Got the cube, West Side Connection on the back. That's crazy. I don't think I've seen that one. The colors on that one, cubes looking super mean on the front of that one. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's a classic. Been looking for this one for a minute, so it's cool to find it, you know. So, um, is this gonna be it for the day? You're still moving around, or I'm moving around a little bit? I got an offer in on something, but I probably I probably spent everything I can spend today. I got this one as well. This is probably my favorite pickup of the day. Spank Master. That's crazy. For a long time. So is this stuff uh, for the personal or are you selling? This is all for the personal at the moment. You know, we'll see. I, ha I brought a few things here to sell myself and sold most of them. Traded a, uh, traded a dead tee for another dead tee. Traded up for this one. It's dope. Uh, 95 tour tee. I went to this show. That one's crazy. It's tie dye and the graphic is like extra big. You went to the show, you said? Yeah, I went to the show in '95 with my dad, the Highgate Spring Show in Vermont. So I collect all the shirts I can find from this tour, if they're dope and they're and they've got good, you know, condition. So that's a good one. That's a cool one to find today for sure. That's fire, dude. Well, it looks like you're doing good so yeah. far. Uh, maybe stop by when uh, before you leave and let us know what other pickups you got. Sure, I'll come through, man. Definitely. Should be maybe a couple more things. We'll see. For sure, brother. Thanks for chopping it up. See you, man. All right, Joe. It's a long day. The voice is leaving now. I'm losing my voice, but I had to come say what's up to my boy who was right next to me, but we didn't even get a chance to chop it up because it's been so busy. Uh, Jace, say a shout out to Instagram. What up, guys? Jace, PFR Vintage. Shout out my boy, 1980. ThriftCon was amazing. Shout out to the fam at ThriftCon. Super epic event, guys. So tell us like a moment that was like stood out to you in the day. 
Definitely 10 a.m. when those doors open, it was it was a sea of madness coming through the door. I'm sure you'll agree. It was more than expected, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I didn't know really what to expect. Uh, knew it was going to be good, but that surpassed, yeah, what I thought. And uh, we got a Stash Raiders episode coming soon with you, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're going to go through that polo collection, some of the personal grails. Super stoked. Hyped, man. Well, I'm ready to get some dinner. Like burnt out. Great event. Um, I definitely think it's there's a lot of room to grow in the vintage world. There's the, every day there, there are new eyes coming on it. We're just excited, man. We're excited to be a part of it. Um, yeah, like TwiftCon is yeah for us to be able to use this as a platform to to promote our homies and all these people that we've met. Like it's amazing. We're trying to use it to do that. We're trying to use it to give back to these communities in um, in. The donated clothes, like, our, you know, we, we always run these do, uh, clothing donations, these clothing drives at each event. So we, we essentially just want to use this to to have fun and, and live our life on our own terms, but also to be able to, like, promote and, and help each other and help the community and help sustainability and help push sustainability, I mean. And so, yeah, essentially there's a lot. I think there's a – the thrift world is, is – growing and we're only going to see it grow more in the 10 to like the next 10 to 20 years vintage isn't going anywhere it's just not you know in the next 10 to 20 years 2000 should be vintage and 90 stuff will be really vintage and like it's the, the stuff's just going to keep hitting like and stuff is just going in cycles now so when one thing's cool the next stuff won't be or the, the old stuff won't be and then the next thing will be cool and then that stuff won't be cool anymore so it's just a cycle man we're just excited, we're just excited to be a part of it